But today is a celebration for two families finally moving back in. Paul Dudley is joining us with their stories and we understand one of the people in these stories hasn't had power since Katrina. Yeah, Henry Martin has actually been living in his house since uh, Hurricane Katrina, a little after Hurricane Katrina came back from Texas um, and had been living there really without power for essentially 13 years. I can't even imagine. So uh, some families obviously still really trying to rebuild. Mr. Martin, just a pleasure to talk to. When he returned to his Gentilly Woods home after obviously that time in Texas, he was staying just outside of Austin. He came home just to find a mess here. He did find uh, did get some government aid, but it wasn't enough to renovate the house and only some repairs were made to the home. He was able to get the water back on and says he has the ability. He had the ability to turn the electricity back on, but he couldn't afford it. So the money he got from his job went to what he considered the necessities. So whatever money he had left went into trying to fix the house, went into food, his car insurance, things like that. And he, so he had been living in the dark without air, without heat for more than a dozen years. Now, Martin is a Vietnam veteran, and he says his training helped him live in post-Katrina New Orleans. I buried up the stone, so to speak, in the house, you know, yeah. so it, it was, it was really um, a difficult situation at first, yeah. you know, staying in here because I didn't have any heat. Um, I stayed without electricity yeah. for what, about uh, 12 years, going on 13 years. We survived in the desert and in, in, in the wilderness, so that's how we did it, you know, that's how we did it in the military, and I said, hey, look, I did it there, I can do it here. But now after 13 years, a nonprofit called Rebuilding Together has stepped in to help. In April, they teamed up with some 300 volunteers with uh, Home Depot and volunteers from Shell, Chevron, AmeriCorps to renovate five veterans' homes, including Mr. Martin's and Martin's neighbors, Charles and Cynthia Heiser. They were living in a 500 square foot garage because that's all they could afford to fix with the grant they'd got from the state's road home program. The Heisers are back in their homes today. Mr. Heiser is also gonna be back in his house. The renovations there are expected to wrap up in a couple weeks. There is a big official welcome home party planned for this afternoon. Now coming up at 6.30, we're gonna hear again from Mr. Martin, and he's gonna tell us why his faith played such a huge role in helping him stay positive through this whole ordeal. Wow. This is yeah. just mind blowing. Yeah, yeah, we get further and further away from Katrina. You forget there are people still dealing with the impacts of that in so many ways. Oh, absolutely. A veteran. Yeah. I mean, he comes back from war and shouldn't have to deal with those circumstances no, here. Not at all. All right. Well, we're wow. glad today's going to be a big celebration. Thanks, Paul.